All right, Pisces, so family, what it do? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general love message for my Pisces gang, gang. Hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. Please give us exactly what we need to know for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Messages are general, y'all, okay? Can't be for every Pisces. Keep an open mind when it comes to tarot, okay? Things are fluid, so take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever the fuck is for, okay? All right, click that like button, y'all. It's free. Click that like button and go ahead and support the channel. I do appreciate it. Y'all know I love y'all down. Also, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. All right. Now that we got our church announcements out the way, you guys, <laughs> only one card came out. Somebody is not talking, okay? Somebody is not saying what either they should have said, what they needed to say, what they want to say. There's a real blockage in the throat chakra. Um, so how's about we start with a little popcorn reading? Yeah, yeah, let's take it back, okay? Let's do a little bit of popcorn reading. I'm first going to read off the energies of this card directly from a book that came in this Oracle deck, and then I'm gonna pop over to read in your fucking person, okay? Let's have a round of why you should not give a fuck. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know if it's you who held back what you needed to say. If that is you, okay? Just take it how it resonates. You are pissed about that shit. You wish you would have said exactly what you wanted to say, exactly how you wanted to say it. You may have almost, you know, softened the blow if this was a cursing out, right? Or if this was a conversation that may have bruised this person's ego you held back if that's you um in other instances and in most of the instances even if you are mirroring this person meaning you wanted to say something that you did not they are definitely holding back um i had a coughing attack before this <laughs> just started there's definitely a blockage in what needs to be said um and holding back on what needs to be said is actually what is tarnishing this connection um I don't know if you care, none. I'm just saying that's what they said. All right. So let's go ahead and read directly from the book. Now, this fifth chakra, which is the heart chakra, it actually came out in the reverse, even though I'm setting it up right so that you can get a good look at it, right? It's supposed to be illuminated. It, it needs to be um, recalibrated, even, right? So it reads. Uh, this card in the reverse indicates that there are blockages in the, throats, in the throat center. Something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through that unhealthy pattern. Or you may currently be in a situation where the free sharing of your ideas, opinions, or feelings is being thwarted, meaning it's being stopped. Um, in addition to the fear of self-expression, this card reverse could also indicate physical throat problems as all the chakra cords reversed may signal difficulties in that area of the body. So maybe you are having like a sore throat. Maybe you curse somebody out to the point where you lost your voice. This could have, it could be even as simple as that, right? So please, like I said, always take this how it resonates. There is an issue with communication though here. I feel like there is a disconnect in communication. Um, and that is definitely what was coming out more more prevalently okay um i definitely feel like this is an individual who may feel like they can't say what they want to say this may be somebody who's trying to save face this could be someone who doesn't like to express themselves right who holds back um kind of naturally um that is not beneficial now how has that worked for you ma'am sir bro sis please tell me please tell me so we have black cat Ooh, okay mm -hmm. all right so here's the thing, you guys. Here's what I'm hearing. This person is a little bit unrealistic in their wants and needs of this connection. Um, they almost want you to guess what they want, like magic, right? Like they want for what they want out of this relationship to just appear, like magically. Um, and they also expect for you to have that same expectation. Like they will magically just be what you need, right? That, you know, you don't have to actively pinpoint and see them doing actual work or putting in the effort or actually showing up the way they would that that you're just to suspect that one day it will just magically appear ciao <clears throat> 
I do believe that this is someone who is hoping that you will be the one to open up the lines of communication. Um, this is a coward, you guys, okay? Um, they do have things that they want to say to you, things that they want to express, but they are actively refusing to do that, and I don't really know why, okay? <laughs> we have femininity here, right? This, can, this is not about gender. This is about the energy that this person is sitting in. They're giving me very yin energy, somebody who's waiting for some shit to happen rather than making some shit happen, and that is very unattractive. Um, I do believe that this person feels like there is a love here, um, that the two of you have a form of a loving bond. I don't know if you agree with that, but this is coming out in the position of what is going on in their mentality, okay? They do want to rebirth whatever has been broken here. Wherever that disconnect is, they are actively wanting or at least wanting you to believe that they want to fix it, but they just want you to believe in magic, you know, like Disney, right? Do you believe in magic? That's what they want, okay? They don't want to actually have to explain to you how they plan to get there. They just want you to kind of believe what they're saying and just believe that, you know, one day it will just be wa voila, right? Can we get some future? Uh, 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 Siri, play, play future, voila, okay? Voila, magic. Like they just, they just want you to suspect that that shit will just pop out of nowhere. And I don't know why they would be playing on your intelligence so, okay? So we have the flower moon. We have fertility here twice. I'm scared. <laughs> You're like, girl, what? You're confusing me. Yeah, that's a little bit frightful. And here is why. It almost feels like a trap. Okay? With this throat shot. Okay, all of these cards in conjunction with another definitely feel like a plan. Okay, like a trap almost, a rat trap. Like they're trying to trap you into some form of a situation, okay? For a lot of you, do not take it literally, right? But fertility could most certainly mean that they're trying to trap you into pregnancy, right? Into getting them pregnant or into you getting them pregnant, okay? It almost feels like a bit of a magic spell that they may be trying to concoct. Now, for all of you, this is not entailing black magic, but I just got to go with what I feel. It feels like it feels like it. it feels like somebody who is dabbling and putting their hands in something that they really do not know the magnitude of what this shit can do. OK, I'm almost hearing a phrase that when you what is the phrase? Oh, my gosh, I don't know it verbatim, but it's almost like. When you go towards doing something towards someone or trying to get someone back, make sure you dig two graves because it's almost going to, if you're successful, it will get them, but it, karma will bite you just as bad, right? The both of you are going to get it, but they're so dumb that they're not realizing that. Black magic is something that is very powerful. It's not something to be played with. It's not something to be um, toyed with, but this definitely feels like someone who feels like they are at a, they have no other choice. Child, what is this shit? We have love here and romance. This is somebody who may be trying to come in and um, actually place some sort of a romantic tie here between the two of you. And if it can't be reciprocated um, at the extreme level, it would be someone who wants to entrap you with some form of a... <laughs> lifetime commitment of another individual that's what it's feeling like you guys please be careful now I don't get the idea that a lot of you are still engaging with this person but it definitely feels like someone who has something up their sleeve here okay with that support card this does feel like someone who is codependent on this connection if you have completely cut all ties with this person this is an act of desperation and out of desperation they may try to at least get the two of you to connect with one another for the rest of the entirety of your lives through pregnancy <laughs> what is happening here you guys what is this i'm getting mad i do not like this okay so there has been a decision here you have chosen to go in another direction you have not chosen this person and this person has not chosen ascension so you have chosen yourself and that is an issue that that is definitely causing issue within this person um, this is not an individual who feels like they have the power to turn things around themselves so they may be turning to other things i don't know if this this feels like a very specific message please let me know if this is <laughs> resonating down below I'm scared you guys what the fuck 
somebody is up to no good, okay? And spells, you know, candle magic, shit like that. Drop the mic. Are you fucking kidding me? Is that a pregnant person? What the fuck is going on? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it. I need a break. <sighs> Woosa. Does this seem as unbelievable to you as it does to me? You guys, what are we dealing with here? I almost don't even know how to move forward. Like, it feels very stagnant and I believe that might be your person's energy. They really are grasping for straws. This is desperate energy, very, very desperate energy. I do yield for those of you who are dealing with someone who is in the mindset of by any means, you will be in my life by any means necessary. You don't get to choose no. You don't get to choose no. You don't get to choose no. Um, I advise you to really protect yourself, right? Common sense, so people call it, or, you know, looking at it from this perspective, it may be a no-brainer to not even tolerate or re-engage with this person, but they're not currently talking. There's a lot hidden here, you guys, okay? Um, but there's most certainly a very dark ulterior motive here. Um, we have fertility here now three times. Three! I'm gonna stop yelling in y'all ear. Now, some of you may already currently have children with this person, and that is quite unfortunate because this is a toxic individual. That does not mean that you have to tolerate this. There is a way for you to ascend beyond this and still have a healthy, you know, child rearing situation, right? Um, for others of you, this is the plan, okay? It is extremely cray cray. This person is crazy. I'm just gonna say it, right? I don't like to dismiss people's thoughts and ideas off as crazy, but I'm just saying this is some crazy ass shit. It's very obsessive, okay? It, it feels demonic. All of these cards are dark. Can you see? Every last one of these cards are written in darkness. There's black, 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 black. I mean, just what is happening here? I would even venture to say that this person may try to become exactly what it is that you have been asking for, exactly what it is that you need. For some of you, this could even be a newer individual. I'm just hearing that intuitively. So please be very, very careful. Um, there is not a set group where it's like, this is an older person. There is old and new energies here. Whoever it is, is a bit obsessed with who you are. They're a bit obsessed with the outcome of what they feel like things should be. They feel like the outcome of this should be love, marriage, fertility, kids, lots of kids, okay? At the expense, right, of at least having you without actually having you? I don't fucking know. I do not know. This is a mess. There will be new love in the extended, but this has to be said, okay? Ooh, we have two of wands in the reverse, yeah. So you guys are on a journey. You're journeying away from this, or you will be if you're dealing with a newer person. This is a journey away from something that doesn't feel right, something that is not quite right. We have the moon card. You don't have all the moving parts. A lot is not being said. Nothing is really being said. You, have, you are having to come to your own conclusions, your own thoughts, your own, you know what I'm saying? And it's just a lot of the unknown. It's very, very uncomfortable, uneasy energy. I'm very uncomfortable, as you can see. Okay, I'm tempted to pause again. I'm tempted to just throw this whole fucking read away if they would let me. <laughs> I want out of this. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. You do not know this. You don't know any of this. And what makes it even more scary, especially for those of you who are dealing with someone newer, this feels like someone who is chemically and emotionally imbalanced. They need help. Okay, it says I kept my love for you a secret. See, it's too complicated to explain and they won't explain. They will not. That throat chakra is completely and entirely encased and enclosed. You don't even know the depths in which this can go. 
spiritually. This person is dabbling in spirituality because they know that that is what you're interested in. And they almost feel like that's their avenue in. What about this individual makes them believe that they can't just show up as themselves? Why do they feel like they have to play all of these games or, or try to go the back road or, you know, try to finesse the situation? I just don't understand. Did you already cut this person off? Um, do they this person definitely feels like there is no road ahead with the two of wands coming out in the reverse? They feel like they have no choice but to go this way, but to do it sneaky. Right. I'm almost surprised that the seven of swords didn't come out yet. Right. The two of Wands signifies like traveling, going towards something, taking the first steps, making a decision. We now have two cards where there is no decision being made. I feel like the ball may have been in your court for some of you to make the decision to solidify things here, but you just couldn't quite get comfortable enough with doing that. OK, this person never really made you feel secure enough to do that. So you did not do that. And now they're kind of taking matters into their own hands. This is... I'm really curious to see how many of you this resonates with. This is some freaky shit. Oh, yeah. Can you believe it? It says you changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. So this is definitely someone who is extremely codependent on what you have provided in the relationship. OK, I'm almost, you know, driven to say that this is a bit of a what is that uh, movie called? <laughs> What is it, infatuation? No, not in fact. Well, yeah, but um, oh my God, it's a word for it. But you remember the movie like single white female, right? It's like a deranged sort of view on the relationship between the two of you making it happen. It needs to be forever. We need to have something that ties us together forever. OK, even if I have to light a few candles to do that shit, I'm going to do it. Yikes. Yikes. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Because I can't. I cannot do this. I feel like some of you have an idea that something funny is going on because you, your energy towards this person is completely, you're out. Bye. Deuces. You're gone. Like you're, you're completely and entirely focused on something else. Might not even be new love. It could just be yourself. You've chosen yourself. Um, but why am I still thinking about them? Why are they still in my energy? Why do I still feel connected to them? What is this? What, well, it's some shit going on in the background. Okay. And if you venture out to engage with them, especially sexually, I'm just telling you, they're going to show you some things that you're not expecting. You don't know this person in this way. I'm just going to tell you. It may even shock you. You're completely detached and this is what is driving them more. It's almost like they're ammunition. Oh my gosh. Where do y'all meet these people? This person is crazy. Where do y'all meet these people? They want to grow something with you? Um, voluntarily or Voluntarily, they, they definitely have said in their mind that this shit is going to happen. This is going to happen. And it is a secret, right? We have secret here and that fifth chakra. I mean, I'm telling you, cough and attack like no other. And they just want to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Why does this? I just don't understand why they have it out for you like this. You don't understand. Like, what is the there is a, a true addiction and obsession. Ooh why you guys you're like duh you know the fuck i am bitch why you asking why because <laughs> i'm me ho you know i wouldn't be a pisces it wouldn't be piscean gang shit going on if it wasn't addictions and stalkers ho that's how we do i'm just saying <sighs> so i feel like this person is really regretful about the avenue in which they took in this connection because they kind of had a different idea in reference to how things were supposed to turn out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. So please believe this secret that they have, this obsession, this addiction, this want, this need to have you, to trap you, to get you, um, 
is going to stay in the background, but you will feel it. It's very uneasy energy. Being around this person, talking to this person, seeing this person, being in their energy, all of that will feel very, very uneasy. Lots of moon card energy. Okay, very chaotic energy internally, almost like that gut feeling of uneasiness. Something is not right. Oh, this read is giving me anxiety, you guys. It's giving me anxiety, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have accountability coming in. We have regret, remorse. We have, you know, um, offers of just being friends. But we, but I'm telling you that there is something going on in the background. Okay, do not let that get past you. Don't let that miss you. Child, I cannot deal with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull a few more here. I cannot wait to get into the extended. I mean, you can't make this up, right? Whatever way they plan to trap you, it might not just be through having a baby, but for some of you, that's what I'm feeling very prevalently, right? Getting you pregnant or um, trapping you into getting them pregnant, right? Forgetting to take their birth control, right? Putting a little hole in the collar. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, turkey baser, I don't know, okay? N not to get too graphic here. I'm just, I'm seeing all of this ludicrous, crazy ass shit. It's like visions. I just, I want to be out of this. I want to be out of this. It's, it's a ploy to imprison you, okay? trap you get you entrapped it could be through marriage it could be through it could be mentally okay mentally i have to just go with what i feel intuitively it feels like the way that they're trying to get there is through passion through you know some sort of physicality right trap you emotionally etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and they're pulling out all the stops to do that. I, I can venture to say that they will go to the extent of using spiritual practices and rituals to get there. Um, because this, for them, is not going to work. Wow. Double yikes. I can even venture to say that this person tried to move on. I don't know what. I don't know. If you've been physical with this person already, you have done something to their to their psyche. They don't know what to do with themselves, okay? They tried to work it out. They tried to exercise you out of them, okay? <laughs> Go to rehab or some shit. I don't fucking know. It could have just been your loyalty. It didn't necessarily have to be, but it feels like a very, very sexually driven message, guys. I have to be extremely honest. Why is this thing so graphic? <laughs> they have tried to release you. I'm telling you this. I'm working on myself and this release card definitely go hand in hand. They tried. They tried. This is very desperate. This is desperation, guys. Yikes. Dare I say, whatever they did to have you leap out of their energy they most certainly regret that because now they feel like they're working double time overtime triple time to come up with a plan to lock you up okay they're trying to lock this shit down already this person definitely abused everything that you provided for them right they abused the access that they had and that is where the regret is stemming from that's what i just heard ciao If they could just have one more time, just one more time. They want just one more time. One more good time. One more roll in the sack. One more date. One more kiss. You know what I'm saying? Just one more time. And they're like, I'll have you. If I could just get one more time, I got gotcha. you. This is scary as fuck, guys. <laughs> very, very stalkerish energy, okay? Protect yourselves. Protect your energy. Even if they don't show up with all of this toxicity to your face, it's the background energy that's really giving me pause here, guys. The things that are in the shadows, the things that are in that moon cart energy that you don't know about, the secrets, the deceptive, the sneakiness, you understand? There's underlining motives here, but they won't say that to your face. They'll be like, let's just be friends. Can I come over? You know? And then rumble through your pillows to get your hairs and shit like that. Like, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, watch out. There are people like that. I know this is, a, it feels a bit far-fetched, but I'm t I don't lie. And these cars don't lie. 
Now, I'm going over to the extended, okay? I definitely, I most certainly have to see what karma is approaching this individual. Make no mistakes about it. This came out for a reason. And you see me here on my channel for a reason. You're not a dummy. No, that's not what is happening here. Okay? This is a little warning. So you can prepare yourself. I have no doubt in my mind that you will be able to definitely um, venture out of this, right? Whether you have children with this person already or not, you know, if you already, if you guys already have things that tie you together, some of you are married to this person, separated, maybe you've gone through a divorce, maybe you already have children, some of you, they are trying to get you there, okay? Let get married, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's have a baby. You're like, hell no, I don't have no fucking kids with you, like crazy ass bitch. <laughs> Like, oh, really? You're not? Okay, great. I'm just going to forget my doctor's appointment this month. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Oh, my gosh. This is too much. Let's see what karma is approaching this individual in the near future. I need to know this, okay? Just for my own nosiness. I don't know. I don't know if you want to know. I definitely want to know. I also want to see what they hope to become of this connection. Okay, I need details in reference to their plan here so you can prepare yourself. Now, we now have the lover's card. We have fertility three times. That shit is blowing me. It's blowing my mind. Um, I also want to see what their next steps are going to be so you can prepare yourself, their intentions, as well as the best possible outcome. Whether you decide to re-engage with this person or not, there's no judgment, of course, right? It's free will. Um, let's see what blockages you may still have subconsciously that may affect the outcome of things for you moving forward. That will be important to know. All right. And then we're going into new love because period. Like, I can't. I want to see what or whom is coming in towards you. Only new energy. Nothing from the past. You understand? I also want to see if there are any warning signs to look out for while vetting these newer connections. This will let you know the people who don't even need a high from you. Hello. I also want to see what block blockages on your self-love journey need to be removed in order for you to become and remain invisible to all toxicity even this person all right that is a jewel that is going to be dropped on us for real i want to see what potential of union do we have for this next cycle some of you are not looking towards having that but i'll still look okay um and then we'll get spirits focus advice and reference to how you manifest the life and the fulfillment that you see for yourself, right? Your quality of life that you've been trying to manifest, how can you bring that about in the least amount of time? All right, so please click that like button first, as well as the subscribe button. And we don't have any time to waste. I have a lot to unpack. Let's go on over to the extended. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box and I'm gonna see you guys over there.